Hello everybody, Assassinator back with another Halo Infinite weekly update video for week number 88. So let's go ahead and start off with what is in this event pass because we have an event going on right now which is the return of Tenrai which is Tenrai 2 and later this season we'll have a Tenrai 3. So right now in Tenrai 2, here's going to be the 10 tier event pass. It's a free event pass. Obviously all you need to do is complete your challenges in order to obtain these items. Whatever you don't complete this week, you have a chance to complete it next week because this thing will run for two weeks. So, it looks like we get a backdrop. We get an AR coating, which doesn't look too bad. Actually looks uh, surprisingly better than I imagined, uh, but I will have to check it out in game. We get some items for the Yorai, which it has been a while since we've gotten anything new. So we get some knee pads. Then we get a cat charm on your gun. Now, it would be cool if the paw were to actually move, because I know I usually see that paw move up and down, but it doesn't look like it moves on this uh, this charm. Maybe they can't do that right now. Then there's the chest piece, which I'm not sure if it looks good or not. To me, it looks okay, but I'd have to check it out as soon as I actually unlock it, because unfortunately, looking at your, um, what is it, your event pass, you cannot click to see what it actually looks like on your current core so moving on from there we got the sidekick coating which again looks surprisingly good then we got the battle rifle which does not look as good in my opinion as the other two coatings I know it's the same coating but for some reason it just does not look as good on the the BR then again we got left and right shoulder pad for the URI armor core and last but not least Finishing off this event pass, we get a new AR model, which looks pretty cool. I would say this is probably the best AR look so far that I will have. Um, and I have some of the attachments, but the attachments, they don't look all that great. What sucks is you cannot use some of those attachments on these, uh, I guess, newer models. It'd be cool if you were able to use certain ones because, you know, let's change out that muzzle to the, the dragon one. I think that would be pretty cool, but we can't do that anymore. Now with switching to this model. So with that said, let's move over and let's see what is in this, uh, what do we get as the ultimate this week. So it looks like Hylet Still, which I believe is for the Yorai. Let's go ahead and see what that actually looks like. I believe you can find that in here. So there you go. I don't really care for it. It's not one I'm going to use. I'm pretty sure that I'll never use it. I have quite a few other Yorai coatings that look a lot better. So I probably will never touch it, but I will get it only because I'm already going to finish off the event pass, which will complete all 10 challenges. So then I'll only have one more challenge left, challenge number 11, which is getting, I believe it's 15 kills with either the AR, the Commando, the Needler, or the Sentinel, the Sentinel Beam. So, I mean, I'm already almost all the way there. I'm going to do that just naturally. So it's not anything, I guess, really big right there. But we'll move on to the next, which is the shop, because that's the next big thing here. So a whole lot going on in the shop. I'm going to go over all these repeat items pretty quick, just because they're not really anything that we haven't seen already. So obviously inside this one, looks like 600 credits. And uh, we get this, I don't know, that is like a camouflage with, uh, what is it, anodized blue. So we get that for the scorpion. We get it for the wasp. And we get it for the bandit. And what's crazy is now looking at this, this looks like the same exact texture that uh, they have the cyber truck rolling around in, in real life. I've seen some pictures of it and uh, some video footage. And you know, they always put that weird texture wrap on it. I, I don't know what it's supposed to be hiding, but you know, it looks sort of like this. So if you want to roll around in the cyber truck, the cyber truck texture, here you go. You can put that in uh, Halo Infinite. Moving on from there. We got Regal Strike, which has uh, these giant shoulder pads. I regret purchasing them because they're just too big. Way too big for at least my getup, what I have going on. At an angle, they look really cool. So like this, they look really cool. But then when you look at overall at your Spartan afterwards, it just looks too massive, in my opinion. It looks like some giant shields. And then we got the gloves. Again, not too bad. We got the, the stance. We got the Mark 7 coating and the visor. 
along with the four piece nameplate emblem bundle set i purchased it again i thought that these uh shoulders were gonna look really good they do look cool i just think that they are just too big for the mark 7 probably fit really good on the eagle strike someday if they ever do cross score there moving on we got heart piercer three pieces 500 credits which has those little daggers right there i always like that one moving on we got the visor and then a stance so the only thing i want from here are these right here these little daggers but i would only pay maybe 200 250 credits so a little out of my uh price book right now Maybe we'll get a, a deeper discount, a 50% discount, and it might be more closer. Moving on. We got another one here, which is, I mean, for some reason, I don't believe I've ever seen this coating. I know I had to have, but I didn't think I actually had seen it. Well, here you go. It's right there. It's pretty cool looking, unique looking, as far as uh, it's that, I don't know, grayish blue. Then we got, for the, the AR, we got the muzzle right there, which again, if you're buying it for that muzzle, if you're going to be using a different AR model, you're just going to be wasting your money there. I mean, unless you're, you're someone who likes to switch in and out. To me, I like to choose the best and I stay with it until I get something else that's even better. Moving on, we got the Ninja Star right there as a uh, weapon charm. And then there in the back, we went ahead and we got those uh, flowers. Japanese flowers right there. I don't remember what they're called. Then we got another bundle set, which again, one that I own, which I think is really good. I don't know the price on it, but it's the actual samurai swords. So basically, all you're getting is the samurai swords because the four-piece nameplate emblem bundle set is not really all that. So this is the main thing that you're obviously purchasing. Does it say it's on discount? It actually says it's on discount 28%. So I pay full price for it. I don't regret it because that's something I still have on my uh, armor core. Moving on. Here we go, another one with a cool stance. Now this stance I thought was really unique. I thought it was different because you know, you're holding something that's not actually in the game. This was back when, uh, you know, I know nowadays they have more things that you hold that aren't actually in the game, but it's kind of cool when they actually put this one out. And someone told me that it's modeled after, I guess, holding the, the flag. So when you capture the flag, it's modeled after that and obviously just made a little bit different. Moving on, we got a URI coating. We got a helmet, which looks like a scuba helmet, an attachment for that scuba helmet, a visor, a chest piece for your URI, the left and right shoulder for your URI, and the knee pads for your URI. All that for a thousand credits. Now, moving on, we have these three bundles right here. I'm not going to show these individually. I'm going to show them as the big baller bundle, which is right here at 3,400 credits. And inside here, you get two extra pieces that you can only get if you buy the whole big bundle, the whole big baller set right there. So this would cost you about 4,800 credits. You're going to be saving about 1,400 credits by buying it as this big baller bundle. So let's go inside here. So the thing I don't like is I did want these shoulders but I did not want to have to pay 3,400 in order to get them. I mean, if they are part of a smaller bundle, I'd probably purchase them. And the other thing is they just look again, too big. So what I was talking about those shields, these are too big. And what's bad is I can't even uh, really see these on, on uh, some other makeups with this armor, you know, zoomed outward. I have to look at it like this because they're not in my inventory, even locked in my inventory to actually check out like that. I think 343 needs to change that. I'd like to actually, you know, change things in and out and see if I can find a, a good makeup that has this included. But the dragons, which is something that I looked forward to for a long time, but again, I'm gonna pass on them. We get a helmet. So there's that helmet right there. We get the left and right shoulders, which look minimalistic. We get our Batman utility belt right heel, right here. Not a not as good as my samurai swords an item that i would like are the size right here i think that looks really cool so that's one item i would really like the shoulders are kind of a maybe but uh this and then i don't know if i showed this one off i might have skipped it the mythic effect set that's the other uh exclusive from buying the big baller bundle right here so pretty cool but again i don't really uh run around with these so it's not something i really care for 
here I believe is the only wrist attachment for your Yorai so again a second piece that I would like to have and that yeah that does look really cool but again it's not really something that's really needed to dress up your Spartan you don't see the wrist like that that much but these to me that's different that's unique you know we're seeing all these uh, armor cores with uh, the knives but this one has the size okay now we get this coating for all eight cores so I'm gonna go through them pretty quick Nothing needs to really be said here, because obviously it's not really my style, but if it's yours, then that's all good. Okay, then here you go, you get a stance right here. Again, pretty cool looking. You get the left and right shoulders for your Yorai. You get a visor, which looks like it changes color depending on the lighting. Could just be the lighting that's doing that. But it looks like it's uh, crystallized, pretty cool. All right, then, I believe this is, uh, again, your armor cores. The same uh, coating on every one of your armor cores. Let me see what the Yorai looks like with my setup. Again, not better than what I currently have. So I'll go through these pretty quick. And then we get an effect. Of course, I love the effects, and this one has the, the koi fish on it. Unique, different, not sure that this is really one that I would really want. I mean, there's a, a better looking one than this that I, I'd rather have. But still, I do enjoy the effect sets. This one, I just don't see myself really using over. If I were to buy this big baller pack, I would use a different one that's in this. So there will be a second uh, effect set in here. So let's uh, finish off. So we got now the weapon coating. Again, same uh, coating for all the different weapons. I'll go through these. And then the other effect that I told you. So I do kind of like how this one looks. Let's see what my character looks like with it. See, I would like to see this effect, but on the Yorai. And what's crazy is I can't check it out on the Yorai because it's not actually in... Hold on, can I change it? No, no I can't. So it's not in my the inventory section where you can actually check it out. So I'm not able to see how good this looks to see again if it would persuade me into buying this big baller bundle. So I might end up passing on it until they end up breaking it down even further. So with that, we got a kill effect. Again, I love the kill effects. And so this one's like it's getting hit with the samurai sword. Pretty cool overall. And then you kind of see the, the demon uh, mask and eyes floating upward. So pretty cool there. That would be something that I want. So I want to say that so far there's like four or five items I would like. Then we got these antlers. But they're only for this helmet right here. Or they're not for my main helmet that I use. I checked it on my main helmet. It's not there. But again, it just might not be appearing because I haven't purchased it. But again, I can't check it out, so therefore I'm going to have to go with it's not for the helmet that I have, therefore I'm not going to use it. And then you get a, uh, a bandit um, different model weapon. So this one is different and it has, you can see that dragon on there, which is pretty cool. I believe that you can change the coating, which would obviously change that. But I'm not 100% sure because we've never had a gun that's actually had... You know, something like this on it, which has a color to it. So I don't know what coating they're using on it. Can I? Oh, I can check mine. Oh, no. So it stays green no matter what. So no matter what coating you use, it will always be green. And then obviously uh, your coating will be on there too. But actually, that, that, that looks really nice. I don't really use the bandit, but you know what? When I grab the bandit, I want to have a nice looking weapon. So I would say um, I'm up to like five items I would like. We got the backdrop right there. Then we got the four-piece nameplate emblem bundle set. And man, you see 51 items in here. We got another helmet for the Yorai. You get the, the charm for your weapon. And then a chest piece. And this one, I can check out and see what my character looks like with it. Again, I like in uh, Season 4 that they started making it so that whatever coating you put on, it will be reflected on these attachments. 
makes it look a whole lot better than the just the matte gray that everything came with. So that's going to be the big baller set. Obviously, if you want to see, you know, because you saw some things in here, but you don't want to spend $3,400, you have to check these out individually. I'm not going to go ahead and waste your time going through there, but I basically showed you what's inside this. So if it's something that kind of catches you, turn on your Xbox, turn on Halo Infinite, and check it out. Now, with that said, let's move over to the last piece, which would be multiplayer. So it looks like this week we got Social Skirmish as the, the main mode, as the featured mode. But for those people who, uh, like last week, we still got that mode in here. So, Squad Battles is still here. I actually enjoyed it, going back, you know, playing those Halo 3 maps. Um, I just would like them to keep Squad Battles and build upon it, not just those three maps. Start giving us some more maps, you know, from Halo 4, from Halo 5, Halo 2, Halo 1, whatever it happens to be. Give us some more of those maps. I think that'd be really cool right there, because obviously... Those uh, legacy Halo games had some really good layouts. But I believe that's going to be it for this week. Um, I don't think anything else is popping up. I just saw earlier today a couple more uh, Twitch drops. They're all repeats, but I will be putting out a video sometime between now and Saturday. I'll end up putting out another Twitch drop video, making you aware of what those Twitch drops are and how to get them like usual. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you are not subscribed and you want content like this, I do this every single week. But until next time, Assassinator out.